<laughs> okay, so we lost him. And by now he could be anywhere. In the tunnels, or even through some secret realm gate we don't know about. Don't be so defeatist, Arman. Realm gates are as rare as they are precious, and not idly used. They are the only things that connect the mortal realms to each other. What's left of the gates after the Age of Chaos, anyway? When the Eight Realms were first revealed to the God King, they were disks of crystallized magic stardust and bedrock. Each formed its own landscapes from a particular type of arcane energy. They had a golden age, our predecessors, until the corruption and selfishness of mortal souls let the demons in. And here we are, scrabbling to survive in the ruins. Sometimes, the magic from one realm will bleed into another. Take Hish, the realm of light. It casts its illumination far and wide, visible in almost all the other realms. But there are limits. Even Hish's light fades when shadowy Ugu is in ascendance. Hence we get day, then dark. Tell me something I don't know. No, oh, not everyone sees it that way. Those ogors over there will tell you it's the gulping god, Gorkamorka, eating the Hishian sun and vomiting it back up each morning. It's all cycles, Amar. Hish and Ogu dance each day. When Giran is in ascendance, we get longer, warmer days. Until Shaish's cold claw takes us and we get deathly cold. Takes a year, that cycle. But so it goes. The realm of life and the realm of death, holding the mortal realms in balance. Equilibrium is important. Take the twin cities of Hamahal. Hamahal Giran exports food and life water to Hamahal Aksha. And all they get back in return is lava. Each to their own, I suppose. Yes, yes, but that lava feeds the great moat and keeps the place from getting overrun by all the tendril growth and bug swarms. They each stabilize the other, all thanks to the realm gate that lies at their heart. Have any theories about where the realm gates came from? Hmm? They weren't made by human hands, for all that we build cities around them. Nor by those of our neighbors come to that. Still some wonders of the age of myth left, then. Aye, though the portals predate even that. No one really knows who made them. But they work fast. <laughs> even quicker than your trigger finger back at the docks. <laughs> I took that skin off fuck. Clean and true. Send his soul to whichever Shaishan hellscape he believed in and saved your liver-spotted scalp in the process. You ungrateful old toad. <laughs> as vital as the gates are, they can also be deadly. It's a leap of faith each time. Worth the risk, given it'd take you a lifetime to walk from the realm's core. Could cost you nothing more than a few sleepless nights. Oh, could be. You're hurled screaming into the realm of chaos. You do have a taste for the dramatic, old man. Fight the darkness long enough. It keeps you sane. Surely a bit of life water would be a better cure all. Aqua Giranus may heal physical wounds and cleanse you of chaos. But for the weight that lies heavy on my soul. I heard that Axian lava had molten realm stone in it. Diluted realm stone, yes. Same as the Aqua Gyranus covering our tab. Huh? Oh, and it's pure form. The realm stones are crystals. <laughs> Speaking of Aqua Gyranus, let's settle up. Though it's hard to part with hard-earned life water. Oh, there are other ways to get rich. 
You could always join a Dawner Crusade, take a coin malleus and go out there to claim a nexus of magic. You'd be set for life. Yeah, you've heard the preachers of the cults give their speeches. Reclaim the lands of your forefathers, and the riches of the realms will be yours forevermore. <laughs> Herada's spear will be yours forevermore. Right up the stump of your neck. Ah, it works. Sometimes. Good men and women make it happen. Better than us tavern dwellers, perhaps. Even as we dig the splinters of evil from the wretched heart of this glorious city. I'll toast to that. Drink up, old man. Hish dims. Olgu rises. Time to go hunting.